Hello and welcome back to Game On. Today I will be playing the solo version of One Deck Dungeon, published by Asmati Games. I am going to try to take down the dragon this time. I failed last time. See if I can take him down today. I will be playing as the warrior once again. With Frenzy as its heroic feat, I can roll any or all of my dice stored in this area. How I store dice here is when I take damage, I can store one heroic die. I can show up to two heroic dice at, in there at a time. I start off with one potion. I'm at level one, white, one item, two skills. And Hall of Statues makes me spend an extra five time before my first turn on every floor. So I have to spend five time before my turn. Three, four, five. Spend two to activate my turn. And I will explore. Then spend two more time to enter a room. Let's go with this one. See what we get. We get a shadow. Its special ability is fade, which which makes me spend one time for every skill I use. So I'm strong in strength, not very strong in agility or magic, which I need a lot of. So I'm going to run away from the shadow. Spend two time. See what's in here. A bandit. Wow. Not super strong against agility, but I think I'm going to try it. Probably going to take some damage to charge up Frenzy. Because my uh, the skill I start with, when I descend, I can heal two damage. So taking a little bit of damage isn't too big of a deal. So I'll check on the bandit. Hope I can roll some good numbers here. Good agility with that six. Pretty good strength. I can cover that three up there. This four is useless as it is, and so I think I'm going to combine it with something to get something better. Perfect. I can use this four and the two to get two of a heroic, and then I can cover up this eight spot. Oopsies. Um, But I would rather take one damage, but that's fine. I'll just take one time. To defeat the bandit. Ooh, I forgot about his special ability, dodge. I need to spend three dice, so I am gonna take two dam I'm gonna take two damage from there instead of spending the time, but that's fine. Messed that one up there. That's sad, but I still defeat him. And I'll take him as a magic item. Because I will need more magic to defeat the dragon. And I'm really weak in it now. Spend two time. And we got an ogre. Very strong ogre. But I think I'm actually going to try to take this guy out. See what I can do. I know I'm not going to be able to defeat him all the way. I know I'm going to take damage. And I should have one dice left for taking damage. And I'll actually roll that. I know I'm going to take damage with this. But at least I'm going to get its ability. Oh, its item, which is pretty strong. Got a 4 for agility. Got a 3 to cover that up with. So, what can we do? So, I'm going to try to cover up all these, as many of these strength boxes as I can. So, I can use these this 4 in agility and 3 in magic to get a heroic 3. That six can cover that up, but let's start with the big ones. So, 12. See if I can do it perfectly. That is eight, nine, ten. This is ten. There it is. Eleven, twelve, and perfect. I can cover this nine up right there. And so, my consequences are three damage, which almost kills me, but it's okay. I gain another dice for frenzy and two time. And I take out, ooh, I totally forgot to roll two magic, wow. I am not with it today, but that's fine. I'm going to take this as an item and 
convert my bandit to experience and I can use a potion at the start of my next turn to cure three damage so then spend two more time and I'll enter this last room arrow wall need magic or agility don't have much of either hmm Okay, I think I'm going to run away from him, and I'll face the shadow. See what I can do to the shadow. Five strength, two agility, one magic, and, ah, drop the die there, and I'll roll my heroic dice. Boom. Okay, that three, I like coming that up first, don't have to worry about it. Got nine agility. I've got these two ones of strength that I won't need, so I convert that to one, which gets that up to nine. So I can cover that up and cover up the other boxes now. And boom, my consequence is one damage and one time, and I gain another heroic die for frenzy. Put the dice back, and. This is good for a lot of magic. Don't have much magic, but I will actually use this for experience, which will get me to six with the bandit in the shadow. And that will push me to level up to level two. Two more items, two more skills. I gain one potion and I gain an encounter bonus die. So I'm not going to heal with the potion because I will heal two for descending. Which isn't too far away. Spend two time. I'm going to explore. Because I'm not quite confident I'll beat that magic arrow wall. Not the magic arrow wall. Just an arrow wall. Um, but I'll heal two when I descend. And I want to save my potions for the boss if I can. So spend two time. Spiked log. Perfect. I'll try to clobber the log. So I have to spend two time. But I get. Six dice should be no problem. Got three to cover that up. Plenty to cut to clobber the log. And I want magic. Didn't get it with this, but agility I still need. Definitely will take this for agility if I can pick that up. There we go. So five strength, three agility, seven health now. I'll spend two more time. Look in this dungeon. It's a force wall. Very high level. But I think I can get through. What do I want that? Yeah, I think I'll get through and probably take it as experience. Because what it can do is I'll try to climb around, which costs three time. I can roll my three agility, one heroic, and my one from frenzy. Hopefully get enough for this. That is plenty with three sixes and a four. So I lose that. Get that back. Flew it without any consequences. This is really strong, but don't really need more strength at this point. But actually, so what I'm going to do is I'll take it as an item. And then... If I come across a magic or agility item I want more, I'll just convert it to XP from there. So that's what I'll do. Spend two time to explore this last room. Almost time to descend. It's a beal. Lots of armor boxes. It's got a magic. But I think it's items probably better for me. So I'm going to try to take this guy out. I will six strength. My one heroic. Three agility and one magic. Just need a three with this magic. Got a five. Perfect. Wow, did not roll well with agility though. Got a three to cover that one up. Strength, we've got a five. Three there, we gotta cover up that four of agility. How can we do this? Okay, so I gotta cover up that one. So I can use two of those to get a four. But I don't think I can cover up any more boxes. I can't. But I will actually 
Yeah, this was a five. I'll keep this. Use that hook three to cover that up. Because then I can use these two fives to convert to a heroic five and cover that up. Now I'll take a damage, which is actually probably good because I can charge up Frenzy one. And one time as a consequence. Defeat this guy. I will now lose the force wall. No, actually, I think I want the beetle's ability, actually, his skill. And so I'll keep the force wall for now. Let's just hope we don't need magic soon. Okay, so put these all back in the dice pool. So we're down to the stairs, and it's the start of my turn, so it's time to descend. So I will shuffle up. The dungeon deck. So far, I've made it longer than last game, which is an accomplishment. Put that right there. Descend one lore to the flame aura. That is not what I want to see with that magic. So I'm going to need to stop building up my magic pretty quickly. Because that magic five. Um, I can heal two from second wind when I descend. And that's all, so I'm actually going to stop the video here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will post the next floor soon-ish, probably. You'll see. You look for it if this isn't brand new. It'll probably be there. Um, Please like and subscribe. Share with us if you enjoyed. Um, Leave any games you would like us to, like me or me and Sam to play in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.